This morning I heard a messy case. Studies show that couples who live together before marriage run a greater risk of divorce later on. The couple I met today brought this issue into divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Gabrielle Johnson and Laquan Jeffers. The two of you have been together for a year. Uh, you're living together, but uh, Ms. Johnson, you think you're being played, so you want out. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here today? Well, I met Laquan when I was pregnant. We were friends and we bonded over music and everything. And then now, when I let him move in because I cared about him, I feel like he's not paying his half and I didn't ask him for money, but I feel like he's not helping me out with the bills as much as he can. I feel like he's basically using me and my independence to get further in his career. I feel like he just wants me, like, for the for validation or whatever. Like, that's all he seeks, and that's all he wants. Like he So he doesn't want a real relationship. What he wants is you to, to, to support him and help him along, but he really yeah. has no care and, and is not contributing in your direction. Right. Like, he sometimes contributes, but I feel like it's, it's not substantial. Okay. Mr. Jeffers, do you have any response to that? Yes. I, I help Gabby through many things. I help her a lot, through a lot of stuff. If, when it comes to um, rent, when it comes to everything that goes on inside the house, I actually work two jobs. Uh-huh. I actually work at a hotel, and I also sing, dance, and model. So every check that I do get, I actually gives her. So she, I don't understand where she's coming from when I'm saying that I don't Does he help. work two jobs? Um, singing is not a job. That's, I, I don't think that's a well, job. Let's, let's, if it's oh, bringing home checks, it's actually it's, a job. It's a job. He does if free you, gigs sometimes, so I don't honestly think but, that's... But does he bring home money, though? Yeah, but I feel like he has more than what he leads on. Like... Okay, let me ask you this. Do you feel that this is her place and you're helping her out, or do you feel that you're both contributing equally to the economic basis of your I believe that we home? both um, is contributing, but I believe I'm giving more. There's... And I believe she's asking for all my attention when I also have a career that I'm trying to pursue, too. So most of my attention, sometimes do, my career There's... do calls for me to actually give more attention to. Stop. But I'm still there for her whenever she needs. I'm always giving her attention. I'm always there when she call. Like, I don't understand where she's coming from when she say most of these things. So I'm okay. like, what are you trying to say? Yeah. Like, Give me some examples of the concerns that you have that cause you to believe that he's in it for uh, sustenance and support and not really a contributing part of the relationship. Because he was living on the couch before. He moved in with me. Your Honor, so, that's a lie. Hang on. He, you were definitely living with your friends before he lived with me. So I wanted him to move in. I was living with so him. Hey, 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 hey. How long did you know him before he moved in? I knew him for a year. So I, he just moved in this year. Mm -hmm. So I, after I got my apartment, I asked him to move in so he wouldn't have to live on the couch anymore. Did you have a conversation about what it meant to move in? Yes, I asked him to just help with the bills. I didn't say specific amounts of how much I wanted. You just said, can you help with the bills? Yeah. That's a problem right there. You know that, right? Yeah. 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 You, you know, and this is what makes me crazy about people who are shacking up and moving in. You know, and, and people who get married do it, too. It's they don't sit down and have a conversation about what's going to change, about where the money's coming from, what is expected from each party, what everybody's going to do, how the household is going to survive. Y'all just, we in love. Come on, move in. I don't want y'all on the couch. And then you mad because... He doesn't fulfill expectations that you did not express. Now, Mr. Never Jeffers... Had, never had a conversation. Excuse me? Said we never had a conversation. Well, it's incumbent how... upon you as well to have a conversation. Did you ever say what it is you would bring to the table in return for a roof over your head? Yes. I actually told her that I will pay her for my gigs that I do get and my job. So whatever I can help around the house, I will actually help contribute. That's what I had told her But when she actually Did you give me, her a ballpark figure of how much you make and how much you would be able to contribute no, we didn't even have on that, a regular basis? we didn't have that conversation. It was more like, okay, come move with me. Can you move with me? She asked me actually to move with her. She was actually begging me. So I was so, like... So was that, that's fine. Mr. Jeffers, at no time does that mean that you don't have the obligation to do so intelligently. Even if she's begged you to move in with her, you would said, hey, babe, well, let's see what the well, rules I are. I seen that we was, we was together for so long, and I actually been over there a few times. I stayed many a night, so I saw when she actually said, 
begged me to actually move in, I was like, okay, I was more open to the idea. I said, okay, I'll just, you know. I get that. Do you understand what I'm saying? You make the decision to move in, but you do so with an intelligent understanding of what is expected of both parties. Do you exactly. get that part? I understand. That, I mean, that's just, that's a lesson from here on. You, any time that you engage in somebody and you're gonna join your lives together mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form, you've got to make sure everybody understands what the expectations are. That's all I'm trying to get across. Mr. Jeffers, what do you say is the main concern you have with Ms. Johnson? She, when it comes to cleaning up, and like helping and supporting me, like she don't support me inside no way no more. It's like in the beginning she was very supportive of what I was doing, but then she seen that my career is taking more attention away from her. So she acts as out now okay. because what kind of support did she used to give you that she no longer gives she you? She usually comes to my studio sessions with me, help me write. She usually comes to my shows and like she used to always like be there. She used mm -hmm. to be like a big support system for me. Now it's more like, now that I'm getting put on more and I'm getting more gigs and I'm bringing home more money and stuff like that, it's taking away more attention from her and... Do you think that she should spend more time with you as you're doing more things? I mean, or... being that she's not really doing much... What? I believe that she should... She can help me, like, you know... Help you do come... what? I'm not quite sure I understand. Well, she, she's not... She's, it's mostly her and the baby be home all the time, all day. I mostly work and bring home the money. So I'm like, I have since, money, though. since you're not doing nothing, I believe, like... So she's not working? You working? I, I was working, but I quit my job. So I just recently got a job. So he was helping out while I didn't have a job. I was paying everything. All the gigs I was doing, I was bringing home money. I was helping her. But baby, you do, okay. So you're bills. working. She's working now, though, right? She just started. She just started okay. working. But you believe that when she wasn't working, yeah. she should have been more supportive. Yeah. You know, she's got a kid. You know, those people are, are a lot of work. Her and the kid could have came, too. You I can't would, bring the kids. Yes, you can. You can bring them to the set. When you have We're a photo shoot, see... when you're inside a studio, you can bring you can you can bring them. You don't have to go on her job and support her, do you? She just started working. But 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 her last job, <laughs> when she had her last job, do you go support her at her gig? I don't she not, understand she why she needs to be there to cheerlead for you. Why can't you just go well, on she, your she own? She was doing that in the beginning. I understand that. She was that. always doing it all the time. She just completely stopped. Mm -hmm. It's like the more I, the more jobs I do, the more I was going around and stuff like that. She just started falling back and just keep further and further in, away. He thought it was all about him. Your Honor, I separate my private life from my work. Like he when puts I, everything when I home, on social media, literally, but he does not put his relationship on social media. Everything that he's doing, he documents it and puts it on there. I make myself appear as single, so I can be more appealing to everybody, models, singers, dancers, but why, everybody. Why, why do you have to, to appeal actually, to everybody else? You say once he moved in, it was all about him. Give me an example of, of some things that he did or did not do that led you to believe that. So basically, I mean, while I was looking for jobs, he would just take my computer so he could look for more gigs. Basically, he wants to be on social media, and he doesn't want to help me out around the house, and he doesn't want to help contribute more. So, and basically, he wants me to drop what I'm doing to help him, whatever he's doing. He wants to, to bounce ideas about his songs or whatever. And I'm like, well, I'm doing something, so you can do that later. I understand that you work and everything, you're helping me out, but it's really not all about you. I have a kid to take no, care that's of. that's not true. Okay. Mr. Jeffers, what is your response to that? In order for me to actually keep it going and keep money going in, I have to network. I have to network all these social media. Right. I have to keep pushing because that's how I get more money. She complained that she want more money, more money, more money. She's, she's this like, is how oh. to get it. She, yeah, she always want money. She don't understand the, the work you got to put in to actually get back. You know, like, as far as I have to keep promoting, got to keep always models, singers, dancers. I always got to keep it going to get in shows. Do you get that? I mean, people who succeed don't nine to five it. People who succeed work extraordinarily hard at whatever they're trying to do in order to make it happen, exactly. especially when you're trying to make it happen in a profession where very few people do, in fact, succeed. And I try do you understand that? Yeah, but I feel like he's using me to get to that point. Like, I feel like, you know, since I have my own apartment and everything and I'm independent and everything, I felt like he saw that and that he saw that, you know, since I wanted him to move in and everything, that that gave him a reason to be more active in his career. Like, his priorities isn't me. 
Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm not on the top of his That's priorities right now. In a perfect world, what would he be doing in order to demonstrate that you were a priority? I mean, I feel like he would put me on his social media sometimes. I'm not on social media, but I look at his page sometimes and I see him with gigs and stuff, partying with other girls and everything. Promotion. I'm like, well, and he tells me that it's because he wants to keep his private life and his public life of whatever image he's trying to portray, but I just think it's Your Honor, I separate my private life from my work. Like he when puts I, everything when I on home, social media, literally. But he does not put his relationship on social media. Everything that he's doing, he I put, documents I appear, it I make and puts myself, it on there. I make myself appear as single, so I be more appealing to everybody, models, singers, dancers, but why, everybody. Why, why do you have to, to appeal actually, to everybody else? Ms. Johnson, you don't understand what he's telling you. He does have to appear somewhat available because women fans like yes, to, you know, have the exactly. idea that he's a gettable the, guy. The what he did it for, for Michael Jackson, for Donny well, Osmond, all of it. They want it. It's like you you fantasize about him being your boyfriend. Exactly. So if 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 you were inundated with images of well, he's taking, he's taking, he's taking, that it takes away a tool that you have. Exactly. I don't even think these people are fans. I think these are just random people that he takes pictures with and uh, puts fans under the that's, caption to make it seem like people are actually listening to him. Why did you ask him to move in? Because I care about him and I need to help financially. So... There we go. There it is. It is. There yeah. it is. There it is. You know, people, you can't make nickel and dime decisions and wonder why you don't have a dollar at the end of the day. Exactly. You two didn't decide to make a life together uh, what you did was, oh, I got a guy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move him in, and then I'm going to Control. create this. I'm done. You, you're playing house. What you want to do is play house. You are, I'm going to get a guy, he doesn't have anywhere to stay, I'm going to get him to move in, and then I'm going to create a life with him in it, and he's going to be my man, and he's going to pay half the bill. That's not at all what transpired. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're, you're pretending, and you're wondering why your pretense isn't working out any better. Your Honor, and I did have a place to stay. I actually was renting the living room. I was renting out the, the living room. You were renting a couch. The living room was all you mine. Told me you why do you care? Because if I'm in a relationship with someone, you want them to be better. You want them to improve. You want better for them. But I was so doing, I I was doing him, all this before so I, I actually him. met her. I, I was actually out. doing exactly what I'm doing now before I met her. It just, we moved in together, and I just went harder. I'm just stuck. Like, what, what can I do to actually make you happy? I have to drop my career, everything that I want to do just to stay home and... Like, what do you want from me? What do you want from him? Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to facebook.com slash divorcecourt and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at divorcecourt. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at divorcecourt. Do you want this relationship to work? I actually do want it to work. Why? I want it to work because I like the way she makes me feel. I like how supportive she was in the beginning. I want that, that fire that we had in the beginning back. And I keep trying to fight for that. And I'm trying to support her the best way I can. I even cancel a couple of shows to actually stop. give her the attention that she needs and that she's yearning for. But she's like, it's like, I don't, I'm, I'm just stuck. Like, what? What can I do to actually make you happy? I have to drop my career, everything that I want to do just to stay home and, like, what do you want from me? What do you want from him? I want... I don't feel like he's helping as much as he let on. He's lying. He's not, he does not help that much as he's leaning on. So, I, I want How him am to... I, not I want him Stop. To, I want him to help more. I want him... I want him to feel like, you know... Help with what? Help with money? Help, help with the help household? With money, help with the baby? Help what? with money, the household, the baby. But it feels like he will drop, you know, helping with the family things. 
for his career. And I'm not saying put me before your career, but I feel like they, the two should coincide with each other because I feel like they're both important. That's why I be trying to bring her along, but she never want to come along with nothing I'm trying to do. I'm getting, I'm not to I'm getting bookings. I'm getting paid. I beg her to come. I try. I pay for everything. I pay for her and the child. I pay for everything. My management is... will have a budget, and we will. We can. You know, she does just, he do that? She just no. Pull, he does. She don't want to go is... nowhere. She don't want to do nothing. She just want to <laughs> just pull away. She just. Pulls away where I don't even hardly because see her. Because I'm more of a she homebody like, and I don't really want to go out like that. That's, that's she what just want to be home is. all so, the time. Because you want to be a homebody, you cannot preclude him from going out and doing what he needs to do. He needs to be an extrovert in order to succeed in the business that he is. And you can't expect him to change not only his profession but his character in an effort to sit home with you and watch TV. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But I, if I felt like he actually had a career going, then I would I would definitely feel like I would be more... Th and, and it's, when you, you know what? Some, it's like, you know something? He's well, How old is he? 25? Yes. He's 25 years old. You know, there's a lot of effort that goes into becoming successful, and you're not successful overnight. You have to spend a lot of hours. I, you know, my father... He would leave before I got up in the morning and come home after I got home. He, Mom was on her own, but he, he was working hard to make an independent business successful. And if she wanted to go home and wanted a guy to come home and be with her every night and all that kind of stuff, he wouldn't have had the financial success that he had. You've got to understand. You can't be a kid about it. Do you understand what I'm saying? A guy who wants to be successful in an independent industry must work that gig all the time. He, he can't be a stay-at-home boyfriend. I don't expect him to be a stay-at-home boyfriend. Yes, you do. I, just, I, I don't expect him to. I really honestly don't. That's what your whole I mean, argument I was, is about, me not in, staying home and spending time. I was independent before him. And you and should be independent now. I, On Divorce Court, I hear it all. Do you need help with your relationship? He has told you that he does not do women's work. When it comes to doing domestic work like laundry, he's told me, oh, I don't do women's work. What do I have you here for? Ooh, we're gonna have to get you bodyguards to get out of here if you said something like that. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Johnson, you're 21 years old. You should not, A, one, be living with some dude or try to make your life about that dude. You should try to be making a life about you and your kid. You should try to stay... You, 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 you want... You want to be a twosome. And, and that's your goal, is to have somebody and have a home and a husband and all of that kind of stuff, and you kind of backed your way into it. But you got a guy that was on a couch, you got him off the couch, got him in the house, and now you want him to be the regular stayed-at-home husband kind of thing. And that's not what's happening here. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. And at 21 years old, you shouldn't be locking down a guy. You should be loading up your life with, you know, so you have educational opportunity and choices. You should be struggling to find a career that is going to take you places, not just one that you can simply pay the bills with, but one that's going to take you on and go further. You start depending on him for who you are at 21, you're stuck. You got no leverage, you got nothing. You know what I mean? Now, Mr. Jeffers, I don't think you were knowingly taking advantage of her. I don't, I, I, I don't think you saw her as a gravy train or a meal I ticket. I think... She actually knew I was, no, try no, the, I was ah, trying to look for an apartment. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you wanted a steady girlfriend... Yes. ...that was supportive, like you were two single people, and enjoying your... the ride that you were on. And she gave you the impression that she was trying to enjoy the ride that you were on with you in yeah. order to get you in the house. And then she said, nope. No, no, you did. You may not think that, but you did. But you're always responsible for what you do, Mr. Jeffers. Mm -hmm. You're always responsible for what you do. If I were you, I'd go find someplace else to stay, uh, make sure y'all don't get pregnant, and... Uh, construct a life with you as the foundation, 
not some dude. You got that? Yes, ma'am. This matter is adjourned. <laughs> you can't just fall into a relationship all willy-nilly and expect it to work out. You got to have a purpose and you got to have a plan. Otherwise, all you end up with is a bunch of babies and a mess.